Hey guys, so we've got a small Poundland haul for you. Um, all the items we're going to show you are just for the kids. They're like at the toy aisle in Poundland. Um, just because the kids have asked if they could have some new stuff. So we've got this small patio area, which is kind of good. And then we obviously we've got the grass area, which is much bigger. The kids are in the process of tidying the garden. So we've got some sand in the tuff tray, which is just over there. And we normally pop it on the top of the cable reel table. So when we saw this, we thought it'd be fantastic um, if we added a bit more sand. So we've got a dinosaur sand shaper. I thought the kids would really enjoy that. And they said that they would like that one. Um, they saw these and instantly said that they wanted to have um, a crazy golf course in the back garden. So they're, as we speak, they're doing that now. So they had three different so designs of this golf club, is that if that's what they're called. And they all come with four balls, which I thought was really, really good for a pound. So that cost me two pounds for the two. The kids love playing cops and robbers. And we've got a little playhouse, as you can see, just in the corner. And that's their jail. So they asked when they saw these if they could have these handcuffs. And of course, I said, of course you can, as long as you're responsible and no one gets hurt. Next, we found these ring toss games. We just got the one for now. Um, we did think about getting two and just having different different um, distance between them all. We just got one to see how we get on. Um, we, these can be used on the beach and in the garden. Right, so I thought this was really, really good because these are quite expensive in all the other shops. Um, so in this one, you get a little spade, a little rake and a little fish shaper. And then you can play with the boat, either in the sand or the water, I would say. So Sydney will have lots of fun with that. Then we came across the soccer training set. So we've got two of these. Um, while opening them once home, we've seen that you get three or four cones I think I think it's four cones you get in there and you get a tiny little football as well and um, so these will be really good for obstacle courses Um, obviously football Harry has an remote control car so we could also use these to maneuver around so these are going to be used for lots of different purposes so this is the double bubble bubble waver while we were out shopping we popped into B&M and these were over five pounds in there and I thought, oh, do I, don't I? Because we weren't really sure and we've not had one before. So I said, oh, no, we won't get one. So when we went to Poundland and I saw these for a pound, I thought, we've got to give it a go. So I assumed this is the outer bag and inside there must be um, the dip bag, which it says on the front. And then you wave it around and it produces bubbles. Again, we've just got some more sand toys. So you've got some little shapers. I think there's some sharks um, and a crab one. And then again, you've got um, a rake. I think there's a little spade in there and then like a sieve. So here you go, guys. This is everything that the kids got and it come to a total of £10, which I think is really, really good. I know it's not going to last forever, but it will do for now. Um, it'll just be stored away in the shed and the kids have been told they've got to look after it as much as they can. Um, in B&M, this would have come to so, so much more. So I'm glad we decided to go to Poundland and have a little look because um, it's some really, really good stuff.